A flesh-eating disease ate away Mark Tatum's face. Only his wife's unconditional love helped him survive the horror. Until you see it, I don't think you can imagine it. You wake one morning with a bad headache, and it won't go away. You see a doctor, and he tells you that it's just a common fungus, like bread mold that got into your sinus cavity. But now, it's eating your face away from the inside out. This is the true story of Mark Tatum. When we say that what you're about to see is unbelievable, you can believe it. Since the very day they walked down the aisle, Nancy and Mark Tatum's 10-year marriage has been one filled with love. I really liked his personality. That's really what drew me to Mark. Calling this Lakeside Kentucky cabin home, the couple looks forward to a peaceful life together. But theirs is a story of shattered dreams. And for the first time in this Ripley's exclusive, they tell how, almost overnight, their world became a living nightmare. Sunday morning, he got up and he had a little bit of a headache, but he just thought it was a sinus headache. Monday morning, he started to get confused. And I knew, you know, something's up. This is not normal. So I called Dr. Poppins and he said, you know, I think you better take him into the emergency room. When I saw him in the emergency room, I knew that he was very sick, and we rushed him up to the ICU. The nature of Mark's ailment was a mystery, but his condition was rapidly deteriorating. The first few hours after admission, he was indeed blind in his left eye, and then after that, it was a diagnostic dilemma to figure out exactly what was causing it. Whatever this was, was probably pretty rare. Tests revealed that a fungus called mucor had taken root in Mark's sinuses, a rare condition that almost always kills. For simplicity's sakes, mucor is really bread mold. His doctors told me that it was worse than the flesh-eating virus, that really it was your worst nightmare of anything that could happen to you. The only treatment really is, is to surgically remove it. But surgery would have radical consequences. Mark would be permanently disfigured if he lived. Mark chose life, but it was a life unlike anything he ever imagined. And this is where it becomes quite horrifying, really, because the surgery that was done, even the surgeons really didn't know how to approach this. And really, the only person that really stuck by Mark and knowing what to do during all this time period was his wife. The surgery was on Valentine's Day. I kept thinking, I'm gonna wake up here in a minute and everything's gonna be normal, you know. But it wasn't. They removed uh, both of his eyes. Uh, they removed all of his nose and uh, basically everything from his eyebrows down to his tongue was removed. While the terrible reality of what was happening was almost too much to bear, Nancy was determined to stand by her husband. Everybody gave up on me, except Nancy. She just wouldn't let go of me. It just brought me back. I can't explain it. Defying all odds, Mark survived the surgery. But there was little doctors could do to prepare anyone for the shock of seeing him without a face. The nurses would come in, but they were really scared to do anything. They just weren't able to come into the room and uh, take care of the patient the way they were supposed to take care of him because they just never really seen anything like this before. Until you see it, I don't think you can imagine it. They had me stand at the end of the bed and they put a chair behind me so if I passed out, I wouldn't fall on the floor. This is Mark today, almost a year and 11 surgeries later. And although this was the face his wife Nancy fell in love with, this is the mark she loves today. She's been through heck. She's had it hard, too. And, I, you know, I got to sleep through a lot of it. But she's had to walk through it and wait and stay up all night and watch over me. And she's just done a great job. Though the ordeal has truly been a life-altering experience, Nancy says in the end, the adversity has only made their love stronger. Even though something so horrendous happens to you, life still goes on. You know, there's still a quality of life. Now that when I look at Mark, I don't even notice what has happened to him. I still see Mark.